With the advent of low-cost 3D printing and a wider range of personal and small-scale CNC devices, exporting to STL stereolithography format files is becoming more and more common. Vectorworks is capable of exporting directly to STL via File, Export, Export STL, or in older versions, Export Stereolithography. However, there are a few things that can be done to improve or control the results. First, the units. You should make sure that under File, Document Settings, Units, you've set the units you intend to use after the STL has been exported. The most common uses of STL files will often presume millimeters or inches. Some 3D objects, such as sweeps or extrudes, will not export properly to STL format in all scenarios. If issues with the exported STL occur, such as non-manifold surfaces or edges that don't meet, select the objects and before exporting, use Modify, Convert, Convert to Generic Solids. Doing this first can correct many of these problems. Specifically, when exporting an STL file with the intent of sending it to a 3D printer, it's best to center the model in all three axes before the export. It's not imperative that you find the exact bottom center of your model and move that to 000. It's simply a good idea to get as close as possible. But most importantly, none of your model should exist below a Z height of 0. There are a number of choices that make exporting multi-part models much easier. Selected objects on active layer lets you simply select the objects you want to create an STL of before performing the export. So, if you have only made changes to one specific part of a group of objects, you don't need to alter any visibility settings to export that lone part. All visible objects on active layer lets you export a single layer, either a group of objects out of a larger set, or even a single floor of a complete building, if you intend to print a model that will be physically stacked or assembled after 3D printing. When exporting to STL, you're given a choice of ASCII, the default, or binary. If you have a specific need for one format or the other, you can choose the one required. However, that's uncommon in most modern software packages. If the size of the exported STL is a concern, choose binary. Finally, quality. Exports to STL should almost always have the export quality set as high as possible. To do this, move the slider all the way towards more polygons. In this rendering, the object highlighted in green is the version exported with more polygons. The object in gray is the very same model exported with fewer polygons. It doesn't take much to prepare a model for printing in Vectorworks. These seemingly small tweaks can go a long way. Thank you for joining us, and don't forget to visit kbase.vectorworks.net for other video tech tips as well as more technical articles. Thank you, and have a great day.